love this one. Fail early, fail often, fail forward. Um, you know, it's always a little bit frustrating to me when, when people have a negative relationship with failure. Failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. Yet you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You know, when you go to the gym and you work out, you're actually seeking failure. You want to take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the, the adaptation is. That's where growth is. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed, but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that, the, the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. You gotta take a shot. You have to live at the edge of your capabilities. You gotta live where you're almost certain you're gonna fail. That's the reason for practice. Practice is controlled failure. You're getting to your limit, getting to your limit, getting to your limit. You can't lift that, you can't do that, you, until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it. Failure uh, actually helps you to recognize the areas where you need to evolve. So fail early, fail often, fail forward. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. You know, he's trying, you know, at a point in his life, he's trying to make a trans transformation. He's trying to make a change. I just noticed how many times he talked about the things he liked and didn't like. He, he was talking about his, his needs and his aversions. Basing what you do on what you like and what you don't like is what got you the life you have. Our likes and dis dislikes are based on our parents and based on bad habits. So I was suggesting removing like and dislike from the decision-making process and asking yourself, is something right and is something true? For example, somebody talked to you in a way that you don't like. You may not like how the person talked to you, but it's of a greater benefit for you to ask yourself, is what they're saying right? Is it true? So right perception is what is going to get you right actions. Having an experience in this world that is, is enjoyable is going to be based on right perception, that you, you see things correctly, and then you choose right actions based on that right perception. Just because you like something doesn't make, make it right. Just because something hurts doesn't make it wrong. So I think people mistake likes and dislikes for intuition. I am suggesting that we pay less attention to what we like and what we don't like, and we ask ourselves, what is right? And that's all I'm gonna say about that.